So you want to get the ray gun. You want to get rare schematics. Today, I'm going to show you guys the easiest and fastest method that's going to have you flying, disappearing, and teleporting all at once to make this the easiest ray gun error schematics farm you will ever see on the internet. So if you like how that sounds, a like would be appreciated. And let's go ahead and talk about it. So number one, guys, you're going to need to be geared up correctly. What do you need to do? First and foremost, select the character. Number two, you're going to select yourself a tactical. Of course, for your tactical guys, we're going with the decoy grenades because these are going to be your best friends. Number two, lethal throwing knife. You're going to understand why in a little bit. And for the field upgrade, you have two options. You get an energy mine or ether shot. But since we're playing Harry Potter, we're going to be disappearing. We're going to go ether shot. One thing I want to recommend, guys, is do not bring in a weapon. The reason why you don't want to bring a weapon, and that's why this farm method is so OP. You do this without no plates. And you could literally do this without a gun. Now, when you load in only, you're going to have to pick up a gun eventually because that's what's going to allow us to teleport. So what I would recommend, log into the game. Don't come in with a gun because you want to see if the contract is there first. If the contract is not there, exit out and come back in. You don't lose anything. You just put your tactical, your lethal back on and your fill upgrade and you're ready to infill again. The best way you know if the contract is there, number one, if the escort uh, contract is there or if the actual contract itself for the convoy is there if none of these contracts are there i would just exit out and do it you know start the match again but if those two contracts are there you're good to go now how are we going to do this well let me go ahead and show you the first things we need to do of course is get a gun if we came in without a gun that's the first thing you want to do sometimes these zombies are a little bit tricky so throwing knives are coming into play here because they one shot everything that gets in your way you just got to make sure you pick them back up. It's like, ooh, piece of candy. Pick it back up. Ooh, piece of candy. Pick it back up. And then you guys should be good. Once the gun is obtained, now it's time to make ourselves to this location right here, which is going to be our best friend and our tower, where we're going to be able to see every single zombie, every single move. But in addition to that, it's going to allow us to get to our contract really fast, really sneaky, without getting detected. Now it's time to whoosh, swish on over there to be able to get this specific contract. Once the contract has been obtained, we are then going to go and take this route. You're going to pick up the contract. You're going to make your way up the ladder, go up the ladder. You're going to fly yourself towards the gasoline station. Now, once on top of this gasoline station, now it's time to throw the decoy grenade. I want to give you a quick little pro tip, though. Sometimes, for some apparent reason, guys, there is a bit of a delay with the grenade going off. So you just want to make sure you throw the grenade and you see the zombies kind of running towards the grenade. That is the time to drop down. I would also suggest. If you open the garage door from the side, that's going to open up the main door instead of hitting the button. Because sometimes if you're like in front of the button, it'll open like the wrong door. You just want to make sure you hit the right door. Once the door is open, hop on the cart. Take this route is extremely important. This is the shortest route you could possibly take. Make a left, veer to the right, and just stay the course. It's gonna You're going to get there in less than 20 seconds, I think. I didn't even time it, but I'm assuming it's less than 20 seconds. So just take this route, guys. The chopper is probably going to hit you like once or twice. And that's about it. Once you do that, go ahead and then cross your fingers. Pray to baby Jesus that you actually get the ray gun. If you don't get the ray gun, then it's just going to follow these instructions. And we're going to do it all over again. So that this time we're going to be using one more method, which is the teleport method. So what you want to do, guys, get back in the car that you actually got on and take this route. This route's going to take you directly to this police station. Now, the reason why we're going to this police station, because you know what? We need more decoy grenades and it's extremely important that you get the grenades as much as you possibly can now grab the grenades and once the grenades are in your inventory uh we're ready to go and do this again the great thing about the decoy grenades is we have three of them so we're able to use this very often and periodically which is going to make this run extremely amazing so what you do now hit the refill station for your grenades and then get back in the car and up up to, our side, up to the top there's going to be this little shack with some red doors this is where it's going to be crucial and important that you restock on these uh, decoy grenades because you're going to throw a decoy grenade, open the barn door, and within the barn door, there's going to be the symbols that are going to allow you to teleport. And it's extremely important that you teleport. And the way you can remember this, think of a cheerleader saying UIT, UIT. That's basically all you got to remember because that is the numbers and the letters you're going to be putting in here. UIT. And now we go UIT and big by the big, look what we did. We teleported back to the antenna where we started the run with now it's extremely important that this antenna plays a huge role because this antenna is going to allow you guys to get to the other contract now that you notice in the map that contract disappeared it's no longer there but we need to recycle this contract so we can continue farming it and what we're going to do 
is we are going to look at the escort. Now, the good thing about the escort is that as soon as you pick up the escort contract, you're going to cancel this contract and this contract is going to give you the cargo contract again, but you're going to want to take this route. So you're going to fly to this beam right here. Once you're in this beam, walk up the beam, pick up the contract before you go and pick up the contract, throw a decoy grenade because that's going to get the zombies scattering around. Pick up the contract, go up the ladder, and make your way back towards the antenna. This is where the decoy grenades come into play because remember, we already used one and we used another one here that's two grenades. So we have one more decoy grenade. So it's going to be very important that you follow this route so you guys can keep that decoy grenade for when the contract responds. Now, some people will tell you stay in the same area, stay in the vicinity, and you know, just wait for the contract to respond. I'm going to tell you no, just go back to the antenna. Don't worry about it, man. Just head back to the antenna. The zombies are not going to hit you even if you're in one plate. And if you get hit once, you're not going to go down. And sometimes you don't have a self revive, so you just don't want to risk it. So you're going to head back to the antenna because the antenna is going to give you the best option to beam straight to the contract without taking any damage. All right. So now that you guys had the contract in your hands and you already canceled it, we're going to wait in the antenna and see if it responds. Look, it's magic. It responds. Now it's time to do it all over again, guys. Fly over to the contract, pick it back up, go to the uh, gasoline station, throw our decoy grenade, and get into the car. Go ahead, pick up the orb, and hopefully this time around you get the ray gun. Now, talking about the ray gun, I want to know how many of you guys actually already have it and are just farming schematics, or how many of you guys are still trying to get the ray gun. How many tries have you guys gotten? Let me know in the comment section down below. So, once again, guys, go through the car, see if it gives you anything. If it doesn't give you anything, just go back to the gasoline station. Uh, sorry, go back to the police station, get those ammo back, and teleport your way back into the antenna. And it's just a cycle of rinse and repeat. This is by far the easiest method. You don't need anything like, uh, you know, like a three plate. The good thing is like, as you're going through here, you're actually able to find stuff. So you're able to find like a three plate, some self revives when you hit the rift. So that's what makes this run really fast and really enjoyable. Let me know if you guys found this video helpful. If you did, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. And don't forget for all things zombies, keep it locked on the channel and I'll talk to you guys later.